starting with Mr. Yang, and ask you for the one piece of advice that you would offer to our delegates here today and anyone watching the video. Uh, Stuart's uh, filming really, uh, uh, a parallel at the moment. Um, one a piece of advice about staying in your freight company successfully. And I know not all of us own companies, but we may well do at some point in the future. So keep that in mind for a minute, because it's both products. And I'll start in with you, Miss Yam, who's the one who'll do that on the road. Um, the one piece of advice I would give is to not become static, to embrace change. Um, if you want to scale, then you need to <coughs> embrace change and you need to grow. Great. Short and sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Over to you, sir. Um, I think when I look at the business that I work for, it's very much a understand your core strength and almost copy and paste that and replicate it and um, keep developing that, not to necessarily pigeonhole yourself, but the last thing you want is to be your master of one, the master of trade traffic. So um, I think really it's just got to be about identifying what your we'll core business is, what the USP is, and then really trying to copy and paste that and grow that as opposed to getting multi different facets. Thank you. So, do you to say you? Um, um, we, we've had a very people oriented conversation, but um, in scaling the business, the one piece of advice I would give, in a sense, quite controversial, but you sometimes have to just forget your ego and admit that you sometimes make the decision and employ the wrong person. So, don't be afraid to fire quick. Wow. Okay. I do not argue with a second hand black belt. <laughs> not a spirit combat, not a key uh, jujitsu. No, it wasn't jujitsu, it's a taekwondo. Yeah, the fourth time I'm DJ. Uh, Joanna, over to you. What's, uh, one, what point, what piece of advice did you offer to our gathered friends here today? Well, I'm naturally going to approach it from a marketing perspective, and um, obviously, scaling, a uh, big part of it is about acquiring new customers. Um, and I think that sometimes within industries, maybe you see you mate who also um, runs a similar business to you um, approach the marketing strategy in um, one particular way and you think it's automatically going to work for you. I think really kind of looking inward in terms of what your brand is, what your USP is and what your customers actually want from you and what their journey is to finding you is really important in terms of actually making a strategy that is specifically for you, not what you think it is. So that's going to have be a big piece in terms of who you work with and having them understand your business as well, internally and externally. Nice, very yourself. Thank you, John. Thanks for lending that. A lot of wisdom, there's a lot of experience here in this panel, and we're asking you to condense it really. So, uh, Richard, over to you, what these advice is. Don't bury your head in the sand because um, each business will have one thing that they can do that they're not doing right now, but they know if they did do it, would make a massive difference to their business. So, prioritization and really focusing on something that's going to make a big difference to your business. That's the, don't bury your head in your side and think it's too hard, it's too difficult. Allocate some time for it. And then seriously, seriously invest either money or outsource some services. It could be people, it could be marketing. But there is one thing that you're not doing right now that if you did it would make a massive difference to your business. No, it's you, Richard. Last but not least, the biggest wheels crane. So, never, 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 I think that. So, um, I would say, I am a salesperson, not any salesperson. I mean, we all need salespeople, right? And we can get hung up on the percentages that agents charge. It's quite personal one for me, though. A lot of the freight forwarders out there want to pay me 15% for a top notch salesman. Probably only get one another month. I've got 10 clients that pay me 30%. So we really just didn't guess them. <laughs> so don't get too hung, hung up on the percentages. Have a look at how much this guy is going to put on your net profit in the next five years. A decent salesperson will put 250k a year net profit in your business. They try and knock it down 10%, 15% on fee. Because you've got to look at the full picture. Over the next five years, that guy's going to earn you 1.25 million. It's a difference of like 10 grand, I think. But I'm getting you a platinum candidate that was literally going to turn Paying offices around, moving the team, covering three or four of their salaries. 
then get too hung up on the percentages. The one piece of advice I give you 